finalists of the ongoing National Science and Maths quiz are very optimistic of coming out tops in tomorrow's final contest. The competing or representatives of the competing schools, St. Peter Senior High School, Presbyterian Boys Senior High School and St. Augustine's College have been telling Kojo Yangson on the AM show about some of the interesting moments experienced during the contest and how they intend to pull through during the finals. Um, I believe there should be some excitement to arrive. There's no team in joining this competition. We're all excited, but the important thing is not to lose focus and to see to the end. Hmm. Now, let me ask you, your, your colleagues, Aaron and, and Bernard, do you have downtime? Are there times when you're not thinking about the quiz? You're just, you know, like chatting and I don't know, what do you guys talk about? Instagram, whatever. I mean, do you do you do you have times when you're not the you know the super focused contestants that we know you to be? Uh, yeah, I was like once in a while when like maybe you're about to sleep and you just have to take it off your mind to be able to relax because it's very stressful. So you have to like release the stress. Are you in camp with some of your other mates who are not contestants? Are you yeah, yeah. Uh, located at the same place with your other your colleagues from, from, from St. Peter's? Yes. So what do you guys do when you need to relax? What sort of things do you get up to? Let me ask Bernard. He looks like uh, he, 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 he knows how to have a good time. So tell me, Bernard, what do you guys get up to when you're relaxing? We just do some sort of discussions. Football match or something else. Just to really stress. Did you guys watch the Ghana match? Yeah. Not fully. No, you were studying. <laughs> that's no surprise to anybody. Um, but of course, that's what you need to do to always be focused and, and ready to compete. Let me talk to my, my guys from St. Augustine's. Now, Newton, uh, no doubt your name is now a household name. Every time uh, you compete, as soon as you come on, your schoolmates start cheering you on. You go to Twitter, you're trending number one. Uh, how does that all feel to you? Mm. I'm always gingered by the cheer of the crowd to do more. Uh, it's also a form of motivation. Do you get a bit nervous sometimes? you feel the weight of expectation on your shoulders? Uh, sometimes I become nervous, but you have to calm down and deliver. Mm. Now, Joseph, it, St. Augustine's College really decided to take the National Science and Maths quiz seriously. You, you, you set up a special unit in school to practice, uh, and, uh, and we, we understand that the old students have really supported in, in the initiative to get you boys ready. What has that been like? What, what, what sort of things have you had to go through to get ready for this year's competition? We've had a lot of training by form of trial contest, and we've also been um, using the facilities to You definitely get a lot more here from the contestants. Now, she's been at the center of all the contests from the 1-8 stage. Uh, We're talking about the quiz mistress. My colleague, Komla Adum, decided to do a short story focusing on her moments in this year's quiz. Welcome to the 2019 edition of the National Science and Math Quiz. She's all you need in a quiz mistress. And even without a whip, you will fall in line. A strict examiner, a motherly cushion when she has to be, and certainly a woman who knows her stuff. Dr. Elsie Eva Kaufman has done 12 years moderate in the National Science and Maths quiz and is still at it. All through the competition so far, she has dazzled in her uniquely made outfits of local ethnic fusion and Afrocentric shades. But she would be the first to admit, beyond the fashion ensemble, it's been a great competition so far. I occur in many varieties each of which is distinguished by a property of the unique particle conventionally labeled Z. Who am I? Newton. Atoms. Oh yeah. Here is an excited Dr. Eva Kaufman when you solve her problem of the day. Opoku Wari School had no problem with the problem of the day. <laughs> 
so I'm happy to award a perfect score together with the NSMQ staff. Well, she can be light like that, also when a fancy school gets cut to size. In fancy film school, or kunu yedzin. Unfortunately, we have to say goodbye. All the best. But hey, she can be stern too. I am doing the best I can. If you make too much noise and your contestants can't hear the question, the statements, that's your own loss. The crowd sometimes gets chant happy, and in that mood, they do this for the quiz mistress. Our media partners are Joy News, Joy FM, My Joy Online, and YFM. Madame Effa Kaufman could be a problem of the day on July 11 at the National Theatre. For all schools at the final, contestants from Presec would especially remember this during the semi-finals. Contestants, you didn't take enough time to actually understand the physical problem in your hands. You jumped at the values there and started doing calculations left and right without understanding what the physical problem really was. So at the end of the day, none of you was able to provide the correct answer to our problem of the day. I am most unhappy to award zeros all around. For many of the neutrals, an all-girls school should have been here, but it was not meant to be, and Dr. Eva Kaufman is disappointed. Oh, this year we were hopeful that this would be the year where something happens. Unfortunately, our last chance was the one we had. Uh, Wesley Girls High yes. School this afternoon. Yeah, and uh, I was a bit disappointed. The young ladies gave up too early. Yes. From the body language, Absolutely. they had given up Absolutely. in the first round. No but there's hope because, you know, last year, that was when I said, when the young ladies brought their cheering team mm. and they were singing the songs just like wow. the young men, then I knew things were improving because Absolutely. previously, if you remember, Wesley girls would come and sit down with some beautiful you. clap. <laughs> <laughs> Forget when her handbag was stolen at the 2017 finale. Dr. Elsie Eva Kaufman has bigger expectations for Thursday's epic involving Presec, St. Peter's and St. Augustine's College. Disappointed with our semi-finals. Mm. Because I expected the contest to be a little Teenage closer. Contested. But it didn't happen that way. I'm hoping, I'm hoping mm. that we have a very well contested final. But ultimately, after five rounds of contest, waves of school chants and shouts, what are we to expect? It is written in the scriptures, in the book of Exodus, chapter 14, verse 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he shall bring to you today. For the Egyptians we see today, we shall see them no more. My carbon atoms have the luxury of maintaining their exact tetrahedral angles. Who am I? Newton. Cyclohexene. A motley crowd of students, old students, friends, sympathizers and families of contestants sharing their boys up, there will be only one winner. Would it be five-time champions per sex snatching assists or would defending champions St. Peter's nick this one to make it a fourth trophy or just maybe St. Augustine's would rack up a second? Well, Dr. Elsie Eva Kaufman and the rest of us will find out after round five on Thursday. My name is Elsie Fakoffman and I'm...
Come out on with that report. Do stay with us here on the Draw News Channel. We'll bring you that finale live here on radio and television and online. But coming up here on News Desk shortly in business, Group Indum is optimistic of winning suit against government to recover over 2 billion CD debt. Do stay for details.